Um, the chairman asked you, who told you this information? You can't remember? No, I, I, I do not remember. Was it, did, did someone say in person? Did they send you an email? How'd you get the information? I don't recall. I do not get emails on these subjects, so I'm sure, I'm sure it was someone in person. Someone in person. This has been a major news story for the last 13 months, and you don't remember who came up to you and said, hey, boss, we lost Lois Lerner's emails. You don't even remember anything about that situation. No, I remember being told in April. But you don't remember who told you? Uh, I do not recall who told me. Something, no. that, something that's there, been a front page story for you would think that I would have, be significant enough to remember how it happened, when they told you, what the actual date was. Gotta you remember, might even remember where you were standing. Remember, I'm running an agency with 90,000 people. And this has been the biggest issue in front of your agency we're for the in, last year. We're in the middle of filing season. Is okay, all so here we go. Here on. we go. The sun was in my eyes, the wind was blowing, and the dog ate my homework, too. Uh, welcome back, Steve Malzberg Show. Cleta Mitchell now joins us, attorney uh, representing several groups targeted by the IRS. She's with the political law uh, firm of uh, Foley and Lardner. Hello, Cleta. Hello, Steve. How are you? I got to tell you, what entertainment. I mean, as sad as it was, it was very entertaining, very informative, I believe very telling last night as you're sitting there watching this nonsense, these answers from this this IRS commissioner, what, what are you thinking? I think that the American people need to look at that guy, listen to him, and think this is the face of statism. It is the face of someone who is a career uh, CEO of major government agencies, and you can tell. He doesn't have the slightest concern for the people who pay the bills. That would be us, the taxpayers. He feels absolutely no obligation to the people. His only obligation is to the bureaucrats and the bureaucracy and the agencies he works for. He feels contempt. He, he, not only does he not feel obligation to the people, he has nothing but apparently contempt for their elected representatives. And he doesn't think this is a big deal. Uh, that's the thing that's clear. He doesn't think this is a big deal. Right. Well, it may not be a big deal to him, but it's a big deal to the American people. Right, and uh, let, let, let's hear uh, some more of that exchange. Uh, here it is. Who'd you tell? Did you tell the White House? I never told the White House. Politico reports you told the White House in April. You didn't tell anyone at the White House? I don't think that's what Politico reported. Did you tell anyone at Treasury? Did you tell any of your bosses? Did you I, did not tell anybody at, I did not tell anybody at Treasury either. Did you talk to anyone about this? No. Talk to anyone outside the agency about when Not you outside learned? the agency. I talked in the agency about it. I get And then the when did you tell Congress? Pardon? When did you tell Congress? Uh, we produced the public report uh, 10 days ago. So you knew in April, and you waited two months to tell this body. The body has been looking. Right. I mean, I, I, and then he goes on to ask the question, when does this become obstruction of justice? Which, Cleta, as an attorney, let me ask you, when does this become obstruction of justice? Well, what a, I mean, because, all, because you know, as he pointed out, there was a Justice Department investigation going on here. Well, well supposedly, but look, you got to remember, that there's an organization, Z Street, that filed a lawsuit against the IRS on the ba same basis as our lawsuit for Truth of Vote that was filed in May of 2013. They filed their lawsuit in December of 2010. And that means that the exempt organizations unit is supposed to uh, put a litigation hold on everything, notwithstanding the fact there are federal laws that require the preservation and archiving of these records, as we heard in the hearing this morning. So this is the agency is lawless. It doesn't think that the laws really apply to it. The IRS thinks that they don't have to stand, abide by the laws that apply to everybody else. All right. So, so what does this mean for your clients? What, what has been accomplished in these hearings? What will be the result of these hearings? Obviously, it's obvious to anybody, um, you know, uh, watching this with a, with a fair mind that wrong was done here, whether it was you know, illegal, uh, uh, intentionally illegal, or just total ineptness and incompetence, I can't say, although I have my, my, my feelings. But what, what, what did, did this hearing do, or these hearings, what have they done to further your, uh, your uh, client's cause? Well, you know, we, we are going to have to file. We had a call this morning with the lawyers from the Department of Justice on behalf of the IRS and Lois Learner's lawyers, and we asked for uh, from, that they would agree to let us send in an independent forensic team to look at all of this, and they refused, and so we're going to file a motion in federal court. We have to hope that the federal judge will uh, understand that this is really important. And the thing that they're all doing, the thing that they're all saying, it's what the Democrats are saying, it's what the Justice Department lawyers are saying. Well, what evidence has been lost? Well, 
Think about that for a moment. You don't know, exactly. right? You don't know. Exactly. We say two years' worth of Lois Lerner's emails. They say, well, that's not necessarily evidence. Well, it is discoverable information in civil litigation, and that's what we're going to tell the court. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that question, uh, that's a, I mean, I'm not an attorney, but... Uh, but it's crazy. You don't I, need to be if, a lawyer if, to know that that's crazy. If, I, if, I'm, that, if there's an investigation of me and I, I, I scrub my hard drive or throw it away or recycle it for an envi to win an environmental award, uh, which Lois Lerner, I, I'm convinced, will still get, um, I, you know, and then, I, and then I say, well, you know, well, what, what, what's the evidence I threw away? Well, how's anybody supposed to know it's thrown away? <laughs> Well, that's exactly right. And that's what the Democrats say. You know, I did a, a segment on Sunday with this Democratic shill. I asked him before the show, are you working on this IRS investigation? He said no. He was designated by the House Democrats to come over and, and, and talk about the IRS scandal. He's not even working on it. All Who was it? Who was this, Cleta? Julian Epstein. Okay. And, and what, show, and, what show was this? You remember? It was on, it was on Fox News Sunday okay. with Chris Wallace. Yeah. And all he kept saying was, well, what's the evidence? There's no evidence. Well... If the dog ate your homework and the homework is gone, where's the homework? You know, it's insane. It is insane. All right, so what's, so what's the next step? So you're going to go to federal court, uh, as you just indicated. Is that the next step, and to try to get your, uh, your forensic people in there? That's, what, that's the only thing we can do at this point. I will say this. I have another uh, client organization that's created what's called the IRS Bounty, irsbounty.com, and they're uh, raising money to pay uh, a reward to anyone who can uh, demonstrate any evidence um, either leading to the retrieval of these emails or um, information about the potential intentional destruction of uh, the Lois Lerner emails. And, and um, what should happen to the IRS commissioner in your view, legally speaking, based on the answers he's given? Anything? I think he should be impeached. I think that we should, you know, the Congress has the right to impeach any federal officer under the Constitution, and I think we ought to impeach him. I think that this is unacceptable, and we have to show at some point that it's unacceptable. But, you know, in order to convict an impeached officer, you have to have control of the United States Senate, and we don't have that. So yeah. we have to win in November, and we have to get a different group of people running Washington. All right, Cleta, thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Cleta Mitchell, ladies and gentlemen. Impeach the commish. Um, interesting strategy. It never happened on this Congress, uh, as uh, Cleta explained. Uh, but uh, wow, you know, uh, imagine someone comes to you and says, hey, Lois Lerner threw away our hard drive. Lois Lerner.